Hey, hey, y'all. So it's me, Tessra from Gemini's Corner, your favorite tarot reader. Coming to give you some energy for today. So you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. And let's get into this. Mm. So you guys may be seeing sequences, 0, 1, 2, or just numbers that go in sequence, okay? <clears throat> Sequential order. So the first card out to me is always the most important card because um, everything else around it just tells the story. But the first card out is trust. And I feel like in this instance, something that's being taught to you, okay, with teach here, something that's being taught to you, you have to trust in either that information or trust in your ability to implement that information um, because if you do, Ace of Wands, this new Vitality card, to me, is Ace of Wands energy, fire energy, but it's about new passionate beginnings, okay? And these new passionate beginnings will bring you joy and stability, but I feel like it's about trusting in whatever you're being taught, okay? Trusting in, the, in those instructions, trusting in your implementation of those instructions, um, and trusting in the outcomes, okay? So in layman's terms, you know, I am a law of assumption tarot reader. So my readings may be a bit different from what you're used to. Okay. This is not, I'm not a normal tarot channel. Um, I'm going to read the energy, but then I also will tell you how to manifest what you want based on that, or basically transmute that energy because you can get what you want. Okay. No matter what it is. Um, and so that's, that's what I do here. That is what I teach here. So trusting in, in, in your manifesting abilities, I feel like, is a huge thing, okay? Knowing that you are a master at manifesting, knowing that you always get what you want no matter the circumstances, knowing that circumstances do not matter, and repeating those, the repetition of those thoughts, knowing that you cannot miss out on what, you can't miss out on what you want. There's no way. You cannot miss out. Cancer energy, Okay. You want this love offer from this person or you want this person to offer you something. Okay. You, you can't miss out on it. Circumstances do not matter. More, uh, <clears throat> water energy here, Scorpio specifically, or just cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but you can't miss out on it. Okay. You just can't. What else? There's something, there's something here that you're trying to get or you want to be offered to you. Normally, the Nine of Cups is about a romantic offer, but it could be a job offer. It can be whatever kind of offer. You can't miss out on it, okay? But you have to be in the right mindset. <clears throat> what else? Let's see what this says. Yep. I feel like some of you guys are going to be recognized for something or, or eyes on you. You are being, you are elevated to people. So you may be in a period of time where you, even if you don't know it, people are watching. Okay. You may be uh, victorious in certain areas, but I feel like also if this is a romantic relationship, people will not only celebrate it, but I feel like you guys will be like trendsetters. We set the trend. That, that That's a song that I will put down the, uh, below, but I feel like you, your relationship will set the trend for others. Or we'll open the doors for others. Like, okay, if they did this, then we can do this. Okay? What type of energy? Leo energy here or just any fire sign. Four pinnacles. Capricorn energy. I'm sorry. Taurus energy or just any earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um... You may feel like this is being held back from you or that it's coming towards you very slowly with this Knight of Pentacles right behind that more or more earth energy. But that's where the trust comes in. The trust of the unseen. Okay. The trust in the unseen. 
That's where the trust comes in. That's where the knowing, just knowing that you get what... See, if you repeat, I get what I want no matter what, if you repeat that in your head, let's just say, you know, I read a study that said something about if you repeat the same phrase like 10,000 times or something like that, that, that it impresses the subconscious. You, you build a new neural pathway, okay? Now, that's just a number that they put out there. That doesn't mean that that's the actual number. That doesn't mean it's going to take everybody 10,000 times of repetition for it to impress the subconscious. But what I am saying is that there is always movement. And if you continuously repeat a, f a phrase affirmation to yourself, you will see the, the outpicturing of that affirmation, good or bad. So what you're seeing right now in your 3D is because of the repetition that you've already done with certain uh, ideas or certain affirmations, thoughts. That's what you're seeing right now. So what you're seeing today is because of past thoughts, past affirmations. So with knowing that, if you consciously change what you're thinking, on, like if you do it on purpose and, and, and have that repetition, you will then see that outpouring in your 3D, okay? This King of Pentacles here. So I feel like this is somebody who is very, very stable, Taurus in a big Taurus energy, Taurus Aries energy, or just any earth sign, okay? But I, I feel like you want a love offer from this King of Pentacles uh, energy, but I feel like you feel like it's slow going or it's coming to you very slowly. That's an affirmation. If you are thinking to yourself, why is this taking so long? This is taking so long. Where is it at? Those are affirmations. Every thought is an affirmation, okay? Because that's all affirmations are, it's just thoughts. And it's the repetition that, that, that brings it into fruition. So if you're thinking those things, because what you should be doing is living in the wish fulfilled. You should be living in the end that you guys are already together and, and that this person already is in love with you. And this person is already, you guys are already in a loyal, faithful, committed relationship. Those are the thoughts that you should be having repetitively until it shows up. What else? So you may be seeing some movement with this, but it's slow. Okay. But I will replace that thought with, I get everything I want quickly and easily. Yep. <clears throat> Hold on y'all. Card fail. So to combat that, my thought would be that I get everything that I want quickly and easily, no matter what, no matter what it comes quickly and easily. All eyes on you guys. I feel like y'all are balling. Some of y'all are just independently wealthy. Okay. You're looking good, feeling good, smelling good. The money is good. And I feel like you got more than one. <laughs> wow. You got the king of wands out here, the king of pentacles and the king of cups. <clears throat> and I feel like y'all are just choosing here. Like this queen of, queen of swords. Aquarius energy specifically. Libra Aquarius energy to me. And then, or just any air sign. Gemini Libra Aquarius. But... Some of y'all got, <laughs> some of y'all got three different people looking at you, whether you know it or not. Three different people. Look at this queen of swords. The king of wands is here looking at the queen. The king of pentacles is down here looking and the king of cups. So y'all got three different people looking at y'all because y'all are independently successful. Okay. A little more. Also, you may find that when you start to manifest, like say you're manifesting for a specific person, other people will pop up. Okay. Other people will pop up. Yeah. Two of cups. So y'all are definitely, so y'all, so I feel like y'all are definitely manifesting a specific relationship, a specific relationship here. Two of cups, cancer energy with the high priestess. One of my affirmations with this high priestess coming out, cause this is somebody who is very tapped in spiritually. This is somebody who is a master at it, okay? That would be one of my affirmations that I am a master at manifesting, that I am manifesting is easy for me. I am so good at manifesting. Um, thoughts along or affirmations along those lines, okay? I feel like a lot of y'all are trying to manifest a relationship with this King of Cups energy, Pisces, Libra energy, or just any water sign. What's going on with this King of Wands? Okay. 
this, this king of wands may have had a lot of options okay or this may be somebody that you dealt with in the past yeah this is somebody that you may have dealt with in the past and this person was a player Gen, uh, gemini energy here with this with this ten of swords um you may have cut this relationship off because this person had a lot of options or you felt played in this situation this person is back it, so this person is still this person is still um looking <clears throat> i'm just king of pentacles this king of pentacles may already <laughs> Okay, so this King of Pentacles may also be somebody that you've dealt with and they want some kind of new beginning here with this Ace of Pentacles. But this is somebody who already, that King of Pentacles is somebody who, mm, yeah, Three of Swords in reverse, Fool card, and the Lovers. So this may be somebody that you had like a friends with benefits situation with, with this Lovers card out here, Gemini Energy. But with this Three of Swords in reverse, I feel like they're in a situation, but they're they're getting out of it or they're trying to get out of it. Because they're wanting a new beginning here. You got Ace of Pentacles and the Fool card out here. Okay. This Emperor card out here. This is the Divine Masculine. Aries Energy. This is somebody who, I mean, to me, the Emperor is. And if the King of Swords was out here, this could really be talking about different aspects of just one person for you guys. And this person is on their, on their way to elevating themselves to the Emperor Energy. But, um... You know, I, however this resonates with you, that's how you'll put it together. But um, this person wants a new, a, a new beginning. And I feel like it's a new stable beginning. Like I said, the fool card, if you look at the way that this fell or is, the fool card has its back to the lovers. So this is telling me that they're wanting, they're wanting to move into something more stable, more um, committed, a real relationship. They want to move away from this friends with benefits energy here with this lover's energy but like i said this queen of wands i mean that, that's the first card that came out when i shuffled against the king of pentacles it's a king of wands here i mean a queen of wands here so there is another energy here that this person is um entangled with but with this three of swords in reverse libra energy i feel like they're trying to get out of that because three of swords means third party to me that's the intention i gave that card so they're trying to get out of that situation or they're, they are out of that situation and they're wanting a new beginning here. So y'all got a lot going on. Okay, the Oracle. Some of y'all feel like this is far away and it's not. It's actually closer than you think, okay? It's actually closer than you think. Stop. Tell yourself it's here or that it's only going to take a little bit of time. Like, that's what you have to be careful of, those sneaky little thoughts, okay? If, you, if, if, if you're thinking to yourself, yeah, I'm going to do this, but it's going to take a long, or it's going to take X amount of months or, or anything like that, you are affirming that is an affirmation. Especially if you keep thinking it repetitively. If you think this is hard or that it's going to take a lot of work, those are all, um, yeah. Um, so this is the second time the lovers have come out in reverse uh, or the lovers have come out, but this is in reverse. And to me, this fool card with his back facing it to the lovers is actually saying the same thing. I feel like in the not so distant future that this situation is going to become more permanent. Okay. This is not going to be a lover situation. Yeah, with this wealthy pet, with this wealthy man, because he, yeah, I, yeah, I can't make it up no more. I can't even go no further. I don't have to. Um, this person has marriage on their mind. 13 and three is 16. This is 16. This person has marriage on their mind or something more permanent in the not so distant future. This is going to be a more committed this is going to be a committed relationship. I have been saying that since probably a month ago. I think I have a, a, a reading out there that says from, from friends with benefits to committed or something like that. That is what this is. And see, the status quo of stuff like that is, 
or the status quo of society is that if you start off in a friends with benefits situation, it'll never go any further. <clears throat> that is what people assume. And that's why I said down here, you're going to set a trend. Your relationship is going to be a trendsetter because it's going to be one of those, it's going to def it's going to defy what the norm is. The norm is, is if you start off in this situation, then it, it, it never goes any further. Okay. Well, people are going to see you take it further and, and then it's going to challenge that assumption for others around, around you. People are watching this situation. If they know about it, people are watching this situation. If they don't know about it, when it comes out, and you guys are in a relationship and you start talking about it, maybe you share how you guys got together, people are going to be watching it. But I feel like there's just going to be eyes um, on this relationship. So Gemini, I hope this reading is helpful for you. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.